I be, I be, I be, I be, I be on that money shit. Get it? It's a Nicki line. I said it because I love that shit. When it comes to gay rappers, I'm best of all. Kind of like Michael Jordan playing basketball. I'm higher than S N double O P Jizzle. Be blowing on a kush like a baby on a nipple. I'm blowing by the couple, better yeah, go for the triple. This is another hit. Please don't think that I'm fucking with you. You were sleeping on me thinking it was nap time. I'm eating rappers up like it's fucking snack time. You wanna battle? Nigga cross the line. Cause I'm a bad bitch and I'm not talking Trina kind. Buzzing like a bee and yeah, I fucking stingling. Pull a trigger on you pussies like I was a dingling. Ting ling ling. Cash register ringling. Take the money out the drawer and run off with the green link. Excuse me, what happened? Flyer than Batman and Robin. I'm taking up be biters and niggas who they mobbing and when i pop my booty i pop it so tutti fruity i pop it like it's a uzi my flow is so crazy stupid <sighs> okay y'all just don't y'all just don't know about me y'all don't y'all don't give me the chance you look at me and you think oh that's, he a fag he, he ain't gonna do shit try me anyway back to the story so like i said it was one person by the way i did that in under 60 seconds um with like three breaths um i'm a bad bitch but anyway um there was one person who you know spoiled the rod and spoiled the child or whatever that saying is fucked up everything for everybody um everything all started off when there was you know a person you know he was up on one of the stages and you know people just you know they wanted to get up there and have fun they all everybody just wanted to have fun but you know he was fucked up not gonna say anybody's name um but we will give nicknames um i'm gonna say Eddie Murphy. I'll say Eddie Murphy. So Eddie Murphy, you know, he was up there, you know, mm -mm -mm, drunk, fucked up. So then Debo tried to get up there. Debo tried to get up there, y'all. He pushed him off. So Debo was like, hey, what the fuck, nigga? Hold up. Hold up, motherfucker. Hold up. So then, you know, they started, you know, gripping up and then people, you know, broke that up real quick. It was cool. So, you know, then Steve Urkel decided to get up there. And, you know, dude pushed him off. So Steve grabbed his ass. And you, I would have never expected this from Steve. Steve, you've been jumping out your body lately. I see you, though, Steve. I'll see you. Did I do it? Yeah, you did. Um, He grabbed him up. You know, they started, you know, getting into it. Everybody started breaking it up, you know, started trying to, you know, get off the stuff. So, you know, BSC members got down, you know, told him to cut that shit out. Y'all Y'all got to cut that shit out. We trying to have fun. We got a lot. By that time, it's too late. Like I said in my last video, we can't do anything without fighting. And like I said, I blame it on the goose. Um, Jamie, yeah, he made the song Blame It, but you can't keep blaming it on the goose. If you keep fucking up, you need to stop drinking. So, you know, like I said, he fucked the whole thing up. Uh, Eddie Murphy fucked the whole party up. And, you know, um, the um, Stone Cold Steve Austin, a.k.a. the club owner, he got on the mic and said, you know, everybody has to leave. Leave now. So when he said leave, you know, it clicked in my mind. If these niggas are fighting in here, what makes them think that they're not about to go out there and fight? So, you know, I tried to wait a couple minutes, let the club, you know, empty out. You know, hopefully people hurry up and leave. I can get the fuck out of Dodge. So, unfortunately, I could not do that. Um, I decided, you know... My friend, you know, her foot, her toes broke. So I parked down there and I had to go get the car and come up there and get them. So I couldn't even come get the car. I couldn't bring the car back into detox because by that time, Popo was up there. It was about five police cars blocking detox, you know, getting ready to get traffic about it there. So I guess, you know, I make my way down to the car to so start the car and, you know, find out where they are so they can come to the car. So as I'm sitting in the car, you know, of course I'm being nosy. I'm the role bitchy. I'm the role bitchy. I was not being nosy i was just watching and you know i looked up and i see you know a group of people fighting smoky craig and day day <laughs> along with white mike and money mike was all up here you know they was coming down you know trying to help you know and gina from um martin she was trying to you know get the get eddie murphy to come on and, you know stop fighting come on let's leave for real let's just go let's just go so eddie steady up there trying to fight he get off me get the fuck off me Pushing Gina and all is just push. He pushed Gina, y'all. His hands touched Gina. So Gina's like, come on, come on, Eddie, come on. I almost said his real name, y'all, but I caught myself. He said, she was like, come on, Eddie, we got to go, like, for real. So, you know, she gets Eddie to the car. They're standing there. You know, she's doing everything she can. I want to commend Gina. Gina, girl, you did everything you could. You stood by your friend, and I commend you for that. Because if it was me, fuck, dog. Nigga, if you want to fight and go to jail, you can fight and go to jail. I don't care. I'm sorry. If I tell you three times, come on, let's go, and you still trying to fight, deuces, holla back. 
holla back young and woo woo. So, um, so then Craig and Day Day and all them. Oh no, I forgot to tell y'all. Um, I need to come up with another nickname. Give me a nickname, Flavor Flav. No, not Flavor Flav. Um, um, Terry Crews. Terry Crews, um, the daddy off of, um, the daddy off of Everybody Hates Chris, um, he was walking down, you know, talking to Craig and Day Day, all of a sudden, Craig, pow, knocked the fuck out of Terry Crews, so Terry Crews hits the ground, but you know what, I give it to Terry, he got right back up, you know, he started putting his dukes up, like, come on, nigga, let's do this shit, let's do this shit, so, you know, I think he started getting his ass whipped, but then, at, by that time, Craig and Day had made their way over to the car where Eddie and Gina was. And they're like, come on, motherfucker, let's do this shit, let's do this shit, let's do this shit. So, bitch, out of nowhere, Lil Money Mike, I start pulling off when they come over by the car. I'm like, oh, hell no. Fuck that. So I start pulling off slowly, my Faith in the back seat, looking out the window. I'm like, look, girl, get all, get all the tea for me, girl, because I can't look. So I'm looking back. And bitch, I see Money Mike getting it in with some niggas. So then, Day Day, Craig, Terry Crews, Eddie Murphy, they all over there fighting. Gina, my bitch Gina go over that bitch and she start whopping niggas. She's like, get the fuck off him. Let him go. All this other stuff. So, bitch, I pull off. By that time, the police finally started coming and starting getting niggas. So, I pull off. I see Felicia and them. You know, we get in the car. We like, oh, shit, we got to turn around. We got to turn around. So, bitch, we turn around. We come back around. By the time we came back around, the fight was over. But, bitch, when I tell you, Money Mike was giving it to niggas. But then I did see Terry Crews, like, his arm or his leg or his head or something got stepped on. So, bitch, it was a mob fight pretty much out there in Cafe Roma parking lot. Police took about four minutes to get down there. I guess they was inside detox trying to clear it out. They wasn't outside paying attention, which was stupid. You see all these black people outside. You know something's finna pop off. Stay out there. Patrol. Um, so, bitch, yeah, that's what happened, girl. So, you know, we go to Faith's to go drop her off, and we see... Um, who do we see? We see Roger from Sister to Sister. No, not Roger, because he ain't got long hair. We see um, Dave Chappelle and um, John Legend. They talking to the police. We see um, who we see. We see Hill Harper talking to the police, and he got on his thing. He looked like he bleeding and stuff. Um, just come to find out people you just got fucked up. People's noses were broken, um, arms was fucked up, uh, faces just all fucked kinds of fucked up, scratches over people's face. But I will give it to Money Mike. I'm not gonna say who Money Mike is, but Money Mike, he was the only nigga who I saw really whooping somebody ass. And when I saw him the other day, his face was fine. He was, you know, walking perfectly, he was fine. Money Mike, I guess that nigga, he was he was the one who he was the one who, um, he the only one who didn't get his ass whooped. Um, one of the people who got their ass whooped, I'm actually a little happy he got his ass whooped because he talked so much shit about me, y'all. I'm just, I've just been a fag. Look at that fag and all this other stuff. So, you got your comeuppance. You got your ass whooped. Um, and yeah, you know, they say God don't like ugly. I ain't never did nothing to you. You just chose me to talk about me for no reason, so you got your ass whooped. Um, think about that next time. <laughs> um, and yeah, y'all. That was the weekend. That was detox in a nutshell, y'all. I think I have to talk about some more stuff. No, nah, I don't have to talk about no more. That, that was it. And y'all, yeah, that was everything, y'all. Um, yeah, I'll be coming up with another show soon. Um, and yeah. I'll see you all later. I hope you enjoyed that story. And just stop, stop acting a fool, Weston. Stop acting a fool. Deuces, y'all. Because I'm coming up on 10 minutes. Deuces, y'all. Deuces. Deuces.